Okay. I'm freshly laundered and ready for more Souls of the Dark. Blackened Spirits. Uh, how do I load? Non white essences. None of these are working. I should just say Dark Souls. Oh, last we left off, we had face tanked our way through the Camper Demon. In the hopes of gaining access to the depths. I am going the wrong way. That's fine. Rat lottery! No, I'm clearly missing the better name. We should call it the Rat Roulette. So, we've got a good sporting Zero Estus. Followed by... Probably not a small amount of humanity. So a very chipper female undead merchant. She asks us if we think she's gone hollow. <laughs> you trust a patch of moss over me. I like that. Probably do, lady, but that's because your moss cure is toxic. Oh, she sells humanity for quite a bit of soul. <gasps> Prism stones, 99. Done. Purchased. Never a better purchase than 99 prism stones. Hey, didn't we kill this guy? Oh no, all the enemies didn't respawn, did they? That's not fair. It's because we logged off. No, the thieves are... I don't see them. <gasps> the thieves are there. Everyone's respawned. Apparently reloading the game forces a respawn. I did not know that. Mostly because the number of times I just shut the game off in the middle of being between bonfires tends to be pretty low. That's okay. The depths isn't too bad. We should be able to make it through with just a, uh, the current health we have. I say, confidently. Oh, hello. Oh, the fire! Guy with the fire! Ah, with the fire! Oh. Yeah. We are at his mercy. If he had initiated that crazy fire attack, I think we just would have died. Woo! Two for one. Ah, with the fire! I'm not gonna stop saying it, I'm sorry. I think it's. <gasps> She's here! She's here! How did she get up here? I thought she was supposed to be. on the first floor! Well, I mean, I guess we can use a humanity. I expected us to be fine, but it didn't take us expect us to take a free hit from her help. Oh. Directly from her sword. Oh no, the backstab opportunity gone. So Oh my, what happened? Oh my. What a memento.
Okay. I think I forgot to have the software running the underclocks my computer. Now the game thinks we cheated. Oh, we forgot to log in. It was meant to be. Okay, now we're logged in. I wonder where it'll put us. Hopefully it doesn't be like, ah, you're a cheater. And, oh good. It didn't save us using the humanity though. Okay. Actually, one second. Test us. All right, there we go. So I've noticed Streamlabs, which is the program I use for Twitch, doesn't have the audio buffering issue that uh, regular OBS has. But what it does do is sometimes the audio gets desynced just a little bit. There's a dog somewhere. We can hear it. There it is. Oh. Still alive. Anyway, we need to kill... Well, I guess we don't really even need to kill this chick. Although, is it... We assume it's female, based on the reference of the pyromancer who we save, who says she would have had me for dinner for sure, although this thing may be male, and perhaps the female that he is referring to is the giant rat? It's not really clear. I guess you can make your own choice. I mean, it's kind of inconclusive here. You could be like, oh, it doesn't have the normal lady parts, but then you can also look at the undead merchant we just talked to and say the same thing about her, so who knows. Let's go ahead and just save the uh, pyromancer while we're down here. We are playing as a pyromancer, so we might as well give ourselves access to the pyromancy, pyromancy spells. Oh my goodness. This is another part where having a shield I think is better than not. Because we lose all our movement while we're in the water. Yeah, we helped you. Yeah, there he, is. he says it there. I would have been her supper. To be eaten alive. Who knows? We'll get it eventually. But... This should give us access to both the ability to craft a raw weapon... We might pop over to Firelink and see if Laurentius has anything cool. Andre's such a nice guy. He doesn't even ask to have it. He just says lend it. He wants us to lend him the large ember. How do you do this again? Modify equipment, winged spear. No, we don't want to. Maybe it's reinforcing it? No, it is modify. Oh, okay. Hold on. Nope. What are you doing? Raw winged spear. There we go. Yeah, it's, um... It's not that good, is it? I mean, I guess it raises the attack by a little bit. Let's compare it to upgrading it to uh, winged spear plus six. What, what would the difference be? Oh, we can't. Whatever. We spend all this time to get raw, we're gonna use raw, even if it's worse. We'll see just how terrible this is. Oh wait, can't we just keep upgrading it? Oh, we can give them the Divine Ember.
Yeah, we can get raw Wigan Spear plus one with our large Titanite. Both our large Titanites. So effectively, we have a plus seven that just doesn't scale at all. Oh? No, the scaling's still E and C. Do I not understand what Raw does? I thought Raw... I really thought Raw took away the scaling and just gave it flat damage. Oh, where are we going? We need to go to Sense Fun House. It's a pretty good chance that we die here. These daggers are useless. Is there any poison in Sense Fortress? I don't think so. We'll reverse our hollowing and inevitably get invaded. Might as well kindle this. We could level up something divine since we're here. I'm trying to think, do we even need to? Not really. We'll go all the way through Smau and Ornstein. And then, yeah, I know, there's like 7,000 ways to produce their na uh, pronounce their names. Lepsis settled with uh, Smoff because of Hawkeye Goff, and the spelling is the same. Which seems like a fairly academic approach to uh, figuring it out. It's funny. These guys aren't that bad, but they have a lot of HP, and they're one of the first enemies that you encounter that doesn't really flinch, that, like, isn't a boss. I should say doesn't flinch and is dangerous, because the crystal golems don't flinch either, but they're kind of pushovers. But these guys have fairly high HP for this part of the game. Their defense is high. They don't really flinch. They've got a wide range. They're pretty annoying. And fighting two at once here is... frustrating. Ah. Oh. We got... I said... I said they don't flinch and that we got them to flinch. We would have eaten another attack there if we hadn't. It's not the greatest start. Another nice thing you can do is lure them over and trip the arrow trap. Which will nearly eliminate one of them, if not outright eliminate them. I can't remember. Also, without the Rusty Ring, I refuse to do anything at the bottom of this fortress. If we really want to, we'll come back later. hi -yo! As you can see, one at a time, they're not too bad. Really, it's just those two... Those two you fight at the beginning. Is there anything over here? No. Alright, let's do this. One good thing about... What?! He threaded the needle! That map 